music, but the best part about making music is that connected process, you know, being connected to people and, and music and, and having that shared experience together on tour. And I said, to me, is the only tangible thing. It's the only thing where we can touch and hug and be together and scream and cry and like have those really tangible moments. And without it, it's just, it doesn't feel like anything. You know, like I'm talking to you on a screen, but like, I wish we were talking in person. Yeah. Like, I miss you. I miss I'm everybody. Yeah. And so like, I want to tour. Like, I really want to be able to do that. But um, where was I? What were we talking about? I'm sorry. I got so sidetracked. And I have you your older songs that have gained a different. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I ta I'm, I'm talking about tour because of this, because I know that everyone well, not everyone, but I'm sure a lot of people are assuming that I would do Nico songs, and I'm sure that I would, but I probably won't do a lot of them because mm -hmm. I don't know if I would make it through them. Do you think, in a way, it would kind of help you reclaiming them and making them yours in a different way and kind of, like, fighting off what makes you not really like them that much anymore? Some of them? Maybe. May you know, maybe. And I think, I think too, if like, you know, if I was doing it with you guys and having that shared experience, like it would obviously take on a completely new meaning because then the association I have is with you guys and not with my ex-boyfriend. Um, but you know, the future is weird and wild and who knows what the set list will be or when we'll tour or what it will be, but I do know that I want to, and I and I do know that I miss you guys, and I want to be able to scream our fucking faces off together again. Yeah. <laughs> also, we can sing, so we don't we don't necessarily need to have all of those in. It's fine. That's true. It's very true. And there's more coming, so more songs coming, more songs to learn, more songs to scream, more songs to cry to. Let's go. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I I cry the song shouldn't be crying too anyway so you know it doesn't same and and movies too randomly I'm like that shouldn't make me cry that's weird <laughs> i share that i watched bridget jones's diary for the first time the other day oh good and one cry <laughs> so good one, much. Good one. Uh, yeah so my friend that i watch it with she keeps making fun of me for it she was like you were sobbing i was like yeah do you ever watch um, The Holiday? Have you seen The Holiday? Yeah. Okay. It's my guilty pleasure movie. I've, I watch it, like, quarterly. Mm hmm And there's one specific scene that makes me, like, literally sob. It's when Cameron Diaz meets Jude Law's kids for the first time. Sob. Full sob. Yeah. Um, and it gets me every time. I've seen the movie a hundred times, and I still cry like a little bitch. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> movies are <movies. laughs> it's true it's true um, well i have to go get my ear popped now well good luck with that i um i will let you know how it goes it's yes. i never had it happen before we'll see uh if i'm in pain that's gonna something simple and it was all right you're gonna be fine you're a well, fingers crossed i'm such a baby i'm like doctors for me no like, I had to have heart surgery this year, and you should have seen me. I was a mess. It was a hot mess. Um, so getting my ears popped hopefully won't be as bad as getting my heart zapped. Yeah. All right. I love you so much. Love you. I, Thank you. I want to see you so bad soon. I soon. miss you. Everyone watching, I love you guys, and I miss you, and I hope I get to see you soon, too. Bye. Bye.